Hi, I'm Carmen Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'm going to talk about the daily horoscopes of Monday, the 5th of August. With the moon in Libra, there are favorable, very favorable vibes. Um, if you are a Libra, if you are Aquarius, or if you are Gemini, or even if you are also uh, Sagittarius, uh, definitely you're Leo. This is a great day also. So let's break it down for Monday. Uh, Aries with the moon opposing your sun, uh, most probably you may feel a little bit tense, you may feel a little bit upset, you may feel a little bit moody. Try to control your emotions and don't uh, flow with it, otherwise you may ruin a good day. The um, least lucky or the most tired are those born on the 5th, 6th, 11th or 12th of April. Taurus, definitely this is a good day to work on something you have to work on, something on your agenda. Otherwise, you may feel a little bit um, overwhelmed with the, uh, with the chores, uh, with your schedule. It has to be uh, really, uh, I don't want your day to be tight, you know, your schedule to be tight. All I want from you is to have a pretty clear um, a schedule with priorities. The luckiest are those born on the 5th, 6th, 7th, 12th or 13th of April. Gemini, definitely this is one of the most wonderful, beautiful and um, uh, profitable, uh, favorable days uh, of August. Today is a beautiful day. It's it's very rewarding, it's very pleasant, and you can accomplish a lot. One of the most beautiful days, everybody's lucky, especially if you were born on the 7th, uh, 5th or 6th or 7th of June. Cancer, today you may find yourself a little bit uh, busy with some... Uh, uh, with something on your mind it has maybe it has to do with some house repairs or maybe you're worried about something personal um, and you uh, um, it has to be with uh, related to your family or maybe it's just yourself you're tired um, otherwise um, it's a perfect day um, everybody can get a little bit um, distracted with personal issues so try not to fall into that trap um, the most tired can be uh, those born on the 9th or the 10th of July. I move on to Leo. Leo, this is a very uh, rewarding day. Why? Because you really, you show excellent skills of communication, interaction, of uh, um, uh, understanding everything you seem to capture everything you seem to understand everything quite fast so you have fast reflexes and you are always there to answer so this is a beautiful day excellent for negotiations however you have to be extremely careful avoid uh, driving fast if you were born on the 14th or the 15th of august I move on to Virgo. Uh, Virgo, uh, definitely this is uh, a good day to uh, show some skills. This is a good day to look for the best. This is a good day to work uh, quite um, uh, professionally and efficiently. Otherwise, you may uh, leave a, a negative impression. Uh, some of you have to look uh, after the budget. So watch out for that. The luckiest are those born on the 29th, 30th, 31st of August, 8th, 9th, 14th or the 15th of September. I move on to Libra with the moon in your sign. You are definitely a star today. Nothing stands in the way to your to the top. Uh, you are quite brilliant. You know, uh, you seem to know the ins and out of everything. So definitely you're uh, you're um, you're a great competition. Um, look for the best and don't stop. Uh, something should come out. So definitely today you have some answers. And the luckiest are those born in the month of September. And if you were born on the 6th or the 7th of October. I move on to a Scorpio. Scorpio, this is one of the... Um, uh, of those humiliating days, ungrateful day. This is a, a, an exhausting day. It depletes your energy. Uh, besides, you don't have to exert or put any energy because everything goes down the drain. Today, uh, you may feel actually drained or depleted. Uh, so you better stick to a very, very normal, easy routine. Otherwise, you may feel tired. Uh, leave the important uh, chores till the moon reaches your sign tomorrow night. 
um, you can be quite exhausted if you were born on the 29th or the 30th of October. So watch out. Um, Sagittarius, it's a, it's a fun day. It's a good day. You can accomplish a lot if you join efforts. Uh, of course, you can um, uh, you can accomplish a lot on your own, but definitely if you need the cooperation of a team or somebody, today is a good day for that. So aim for um, a joint meeting, aim for a joint, joint effort, uh, and uh, you can have a brilliant time. Uh, a great day for interaction and socializing also. Everybody is lucky, especially those born on the 6th or the 7th of December. I move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, uh, you may feel uh, a little bit um, uh, tired with the moon in, in, um, in Libra because you seem to be under the spotlights again and uh, definitely you need to prepare something and uh, provide something, some answers. Today it can be a, a long day and the most tired are those born on the 5th, 6th, 11th, 12th or 13th of January. Aquarius, this is uh, a good day to make uh, a difference, to move forward. This is a good day to uh, um, uh, make excuses and uh, reach for the best. Um, you don't have uh, many other, other days during this week. Um, it can be today, it can be tomorrow. So try not to postpone. Uh, put your best efforts today if you want to win, if you want to really uh, score uh, something. Uh, the luckiest can be those born on the 30th or 31st of January. Pisces, uh, Pisces, this is a day to make up uh, for some uh, issues that hurt you or that went wrong in the past three days. Today is a long day, but you have to know that negotiating is a good strategy. You cannot just block your mind to new ideas, different ideas. Talk to people, listen to them. Maybe they have something that will work out for you. Um, the most tired are those born on the 8th or 9th of March. So this is it for Monday, the 5th of August. I wish you all the best. See you tomorrow with uh, more forecasts and more videos. I wish you the best. Bye bye.